My name is Jeff Turis Morrison and I come from Innovation Embassy. I was giving a talk called Reversing the Brain Drain and the Future of Work. And what was the message that you wanted to share with people over here? Well, what I wanted to talk about is how uh, the way we work is changing. With the increase of uh, freelancers and remote workers, uh, we are seeing some fantastic new opportunities in uh, uh, where we can work from and how we can work. And that opens up great opportunities for rural areas to attract people back here because now they can take the work with them. The proportion of people that could do that earlier was very, very low. But today we are seeing numbers that are staggering. If we look at the USA, which is probably, well, it's, it's one of the furthest countries in, in that sense. Um, we're looking at about uh, over 50 million people right now that are working freelance or, or, or through remote working. So it's a big part of the workforce that is becoming uh, flexible and mobile and therefore uh, much easier to, to attract to places like this. And can you give some uh, examples uh, uh, from this area or from the area where you are, where you already see that these kind of things are happening? Well, yes. Um, w we had a project in, in uh, my own hometown, uh, which is a very tiny little village in uh, the northwest uh, of Iceland, west of Iceland. Um, when I was growing up there, we were over 400 people living there in the 80s. Um, in 2005, there were about 105 people left. Um, today, uh, there are over 200 people living there. So the increase in the last uh, seven years has been about 100%. And that is absolutely fantastic. And it turns out that the biggest resource in, in uh, uh, changing the development and, and reversing this, this drain of people has been those that moved away. Um, and that is often a resource that is forgotten, the people that have moved away from those areas, because they uh, now have uh, new networks, they have new resources, uh, they have access to, to knowledge, to money, uh, to people uh, that they can then make available to their own home village. So whether they themselves move back or not, they can open up a lot of doors and a lot of new opportunities. Um, so what I want to do here with Wollerim and Norbotten is to build up a project where we try to do that very strategically and we try to connect uh, um, the people of Norbotten and the entrepreneurs in Norbotten with uh, those that, that have some relations to, to Norbotten and, and that way build up a, a bigger network and attract more people back here and open up fantastic opportunities for, for things to happen and, and for the locals to create new things. And you brought quite some knowledge uh, to, uh, to this place, but you also learned a lot uh, the, the last two days. This has been a great inspiration. Um, both, uh, we've had some fantastic speakers from all over the world, uh, from as far as Singapore and, and uh, uh, over Europe and, and elsewhere. Um, so it has been a true inspiration. But I think one of the biggest uh, inspiration has been the town in itself. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic town and they really show what can be done through crowdsourcing. Uh, the way they have handled the situation and their crisis that they've been going through, down cuts and downsizing, is, is uh, very, very impressive. And I see Volerim as a role model for other towns in, in exploring how things can be done, how we can use crowdsourcing and, and the new way of thinking to really change things and, and reverse them. So I'm extremely happy to have had the opportunity to visit this town and, and learn more about them. And what do you think is the core of this crowdfunding success over here in Volerim? Well, they have some sense of spirit and I think uh, uh, it's probably a mixture of uh, several different things. Um, but uh, the most important part is, is uh, they believe they actually can change things. So they do. And uh, that just brings us back to the saying, uh, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're usually right. And they believe they can, and they do. And that is absolutely fantastic. I love seeing that. Mm -hmm.